really hard. Why do you think then if that is the case, why did you become, at least as I understand it, a main focus of the investigation? I don't know. Were you aware that the plot also, at least in discussion, included a possibility of murdering Nancy Kerrigan? Excuse me? Did you know that the plot and those who were involved, the conspirators, if you will, had discussed possibly murdering Nancy Kerrigan? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I did not know that. I did not know that. Or, or cutting her Achilles tendon. None of that you knew about. No. Is this in any way closure for you, although you've indicated you put it behind you? Is this in any way closure? Forgiveness? Um, it will always be there. I mean, it's just saying it's not, it was right linked with an Olympics. And it'll probably be brought up many times. Um, so, something that will always be brought back. And, um, there was a lot of pain there for me and my family, and, um, I think it was just unnecessary, something that just shouldn't have happened in the first place. Is this closure for you at all, face to face with Nancy? Well, I would just, I would hope that we could go on and just live our separate lives, and I just ask forgiveness that, you know, she has her life and I have my life, and I would hope that we could just, you know, end it. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to Nancy before, before parting? Anything that you've had in your mind these past four years that you'd like to say to her? I would just like to say that, you know, I've always wished you the best. I mean, we were friends. I mean, we were on tour together. We always competed together. And, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I really think that you're a wonderful person, and I always have. I always admired you and your skating and your family, and I loved your mom and dad. I mean, I thought that they were always so supportive, and it was hard because I wished that I would have been able to have something like that. And now with my godparents, I have that, and I thank the Lord for that. And so it's just, I just want to have a new beginning to be able to start a life and be able to live happy. I'm glad you've moved on and hope that never anything happens like this again and you find happiness. And I hope children can learn from such things and not have any kind of grief. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Well, I'll let you go. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, well, we've got a couple more questions for you this time. Okay. And with that, an incredibly emotional day for Nancy Kerrigan had come to a close. <clears throat> she had faced Tanya Harding. As you read her body language, knowing her as long as you have, how did you read it? How did you interpret what you were saying to her, what you asked of her? It was very hard for her to be here. And I just thank her for giving me the opportunity to sit here and in front of her face to face to say that I'm sorry. You were pretty courageous to be sitting here as well. What were you hoping for? And did you accomplish it in your mind? I don't know if I accomplished it or not. I just came because I wanted to say that I was sorry. Have you resigned yourself to the eventuality, maybe, in the minds of many, telling you that there are those who won't ever believe you no matter what you say, and especially in light of having acknowledged 
that you were guilty of an obstruction of justice? Yeah. But I... There's no excuse for me not going and telling them when I found out, except that I was so afraid. I wanted some protection. And the day that I told the FBI everything that I knew, they said, okay, we have protection for you. I went to my father's place and Jeff broke in, in front of their agent, and beat me up. How am I supposed to feel? How am I supposed to feel if they can't even protect me? The people who were involved in your life, any of them involved in any way, shape, form, or fashion in your life now? No. No one. Any threats since then by your ex-husband or anyone associated with them since then? Yes. Recently? Um, in the last few months. Specifically? I've had phone calls on my phone. Threatening you? Yes. How so? Calling me bad names, telling me to watch out, and hanging up. A nightmare that won't die. I don't think so. If you could ever hope for closure on this from your perspective, Tanya, what would it be? How would it how would it end up? That I can just live peacefully, happy, and have forgiveness for Nancy and her family. My final question then, Tanya, when all is said and done and you're at life's end, can you leave this earth comfortable in the knowledge that you had no hand actively or passively in the attack and that what you're asking for, not only in the way of forgiveness from her, but maybe from others as well, is genuine and should be given? I believe so, because the Lord knows where my heart is, and the Lord, the Lord is the only one who knows the whole truth. And your heart is where, and the truth is? The truth is, is that I believe that I will go to heaven because he believes in me. Because you had nothing to do with it? I had nothing to do with it. Thank you very much, Tom. continues to blame the lack of security on the FBI. Federal and local authorities, as shown earlier on Fox, dispute this allegation. Was there closure? Well, judging by this face-to-face -face meeting, the first and quite possibly the last time such a meeting would take place, I would venture to say no. And as much as Tanya would love to be forgiven by Nancy, as much as Nancy would love to be completely disassociated from Tanya, they seem destined to forever.